things that is uh, saddest about going live is kind of the fact that uh, right after I hit that uh, intermission button, I stopped listening to the very sweet uh, starting soon music. And I, I know that we've got a few of them in rotation, but uh, I, uh, I definitely took some time to choose each of those. And they're very, they're supposed to be very soothing, very welcoming. Welcome to the Ales and Fails stream. I'm your host, Ale Wolf, otherwise known as Ales, gentleman streamer, mere man or Munich myth, the wolf of Brussels. And uh, welcome back to the stream, folks, but most importantly, welcome back to Friday. Here's hoping that you are having an amazing Friday. He was checking my cameras for the first time today. Um, yeah, and it is indeed a Friday, which means it is the end of the week. Uh, which hopefully means that you've got either an exciting or a relaxing weekend ahead of you. For all those of you still working, you're hoping that you're wrapping things up at the office and you're leaving uh, the bigger problems to your future self. Uh, it is, of course, uh, a significant week. We did chat about this a little bit uh, yesterday. Uh, most importantly, though, most recently was March the 14th, also known as as Pi Day. But more, a little more about that uh, later. Let's go ahead and talk about what's on tap today. And this is uh, this is something that we haven't had in quite a long time, uh, based on my records, the very official Ales and Fails uh, records. <clears throat> it is actually something classic just as well. This is something from Munich's oldest brewery. This is the Vihed Stefaner Helis. And so as you can see, it's a light blue can with some gold and some white on it. Very ornate, very regal, as you would expect from anything from B. Hestefan. So, <clears throat> as I just said, uh, it is the oldest brewery in Munich. Munich being the mecca of uh, beer drinking around the world, or so they say. This is where the year yearly Oktoberfest festival is celebrated. But what exactly is a Helis and, and what ex how does it affect you and your life uh, in general? Well, let's, uh, let's start with, with uh, I guess, maybe some nomenclature here. The word Helis actually means bright, um, uh, which is funny. It's, it's a beer style name. It also means bright. Uh, if you want some like contrast, you've also got a beer style, a German beer style known as Dunkel. And that means, as you can imagine, dark. Uh, so Helis is essentially the analog to American Golden Ale. They're very light lager beers. Uh, they're golden in color. Uh, they're mainly using pale malts, but unlike uh, pale ales, unlike your German Pilsners, they are a little bit sweeter. They are a little less uh, in terms of hop strength. You have a few less of those bittering notes, even though, of course, because this is a German beer, it does use the noble hops. Uh, the historical noble hops. Um, uh, I guess maybe I should take a couple steps back. What is a lager? A lager is different than an ale. We do love our lagers here, so even though this is the ales and fails uh, stream, maybe today it's the lager and fails stream. Um, but yeah, lagers are beers, the second denomination of beer, or one of the two main denominations of beers. The main difference between ales and lagers is that whereas ales, um, ferment at a cool temperature. Uh, lagers ferment at very cold temperatures, essentially refrigeration style temperatures. Uh, the other difference is that while lagering yeast fall to the bottom of the fermentation tank, ale yeast rises to the top. And it is this important distinction that actually brings about some of the very interesting characteristics, uh, distinctions between them. Uh, because lager yeast fall to the bottom, uh, you can imagine that a lot of the uh, secondary com compounds that are created during fermentation are actually absent during the uh, fermentation process, which allows that particular beer to be light-bodied, mostly uh, ingredients forward, specifically the malts, uh, specifically the hops, and you get very clear, very uh, distinct uh, beverages. They're very refreshing. I love my lagers, not as much as I love my ales, but I love my lagers. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of what a Helly's is. Let's, uh, let's see what Untapped has to say uh, on the matter here. Untapped, of course, the end all be all of beers. Not particularly, but so I like to say. 
Okay, so Via Stefan Helis made by uh, <laughs> brewery Via Stefan. 4.8% alcohol by volume, so as you can imagine, not really that strong. I think anything that be that's below 5% uh, is generally light. But of course, I am a, a heavyweight when it comes to these things, so maybe maybe I might be over making over assumptions here. The Via Stefan Helis was first introduced on the market in May 2020. I made a quaffable beer with a subtle hop bouquet. Over a year uh, was taken preparing the beer to perfection with numerous tastings, fine tuning, and expert opinions. And of course, this is uh, something that we can actually apply to a lot of uh, German uh, beers simply because uh, Germany has the Reinheitsgebot rule. And what that specifically means is historically, um, you cannot uh, make a beer with ingredients other than the main four water, yeast, hops, and malts. Uh, and historically, this has been the rule. I don't know if they've lifted it. I probably should read up on my beer news, but I, I doubt that it's still, it's still a thing. Uh, anyways, what this allowed a uh, beer tradition to do is to constantly refine and refine within its own limitations. Like when you think about the things that they were able to accomplish with something that we can talk about, like uh, Super Nintendo games and how during the end of that lifetime they were able to create amazing things that you couldn't have imagined during the early inception of the Super Nintendo days so too can you imagine that within very confined limitations this particular uh, beers uh, were refined almost to perfection I, I, I do love my German beers um, but that is that is enough of what Untapped has to say. Let's go ahead and actually drink this if we make up our minds. Uh, today we have a, a nice stein. This one is from Dinkel Locker. It's tall and clear, which I do like that. <clears throat> and as usual, here's hoping that you're having an, an amazing day. I know that I actually started a little bit earlier than my regularly stipulated time. Would you imagine that I actually thought that I could start closer to uh, 12.30 my time. Uh, and actually before that, I even thought that I could start by noon uh, to get more gaming um, into the stream. But unfortunately, things didn't work out. And things rarely work out. <sighs> but such is life. And I can already hear it fizzing. It's already got an audio component to it. Very strong. Uh, a smell of those noble hops, very classically trained hops. And in addition to that, you've got like a, sl a slight bread uh, nose on it. One of the things that you should look for when you're drinking a German beer is kind of like the, t uh, the smell, the taste of like freshly baked crackling bread. Uh, if, if, you know, of course, all of you have been to a bakery where somebody's pulling out a bread from the oven and they just like all of a sudden get the baguette in front of you and just like crack it in your nose and then you smell it and you're like, whoa, that is just like a German beer. So yeah, that's what this smells like. As you can see, it's very clear. It is probably very light bodied. It's got a lot of bubbles on it as you would expect most uh, light lagers. And yeah, it's got that classic golden color, which is which is wonderful. Uh, of course, you can, prop you can see my uh, goggles through that right there. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and taste this. Fang and nail, dear viewer. So it's light, it's sweet. It's got very little in terms of crispness. Um, some moderate bubbling there. Very little in terms of bitterness, I would say. A little bit on the palate uh, as it's leaving, but nothing that actually continues or persists in your mouth. In terms of body composition, it's a total one out of five. It's very drinkable. And of course, as we say with drinkable beers, they are dangerous. But not to worry, this is less than a 5%, so, so you're fine, you're good. I got you. I'm spotting you. And of course, the thing that's really delightful is kind of just like the sweetness about it. It is, it is a sweeter beer, but not like sweetness in terms of like sugar or anything like that. It's like a sweet bread type of type of taste. It's actually quite uh, quite toothsome. So yeah, uh, this is this is delicious. I, I love my Bihesta Fan and I love my Hellies especially when they're made straight from Germany. Let's go ahead and rate this. A three sounds about a solid uh, vote. 
I vote for Yi. Yi has the fun. I don't know why I decided to say Yi, but Yi it is. <sighs> so there is that. As Awaka says, is that. Uh, before we get on to our game, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what we've been watching. I know that I did some of that yesterday, but we didn't touch upon anime, and of course I am an avid anime watcher. One of the things that a lot of you have seen me talk about recently is just Free Ren, and of course Free Ren Beyond Journey's End, which is an anime that uh, was only, I think it's, this is, it's its first season. It is currently ongoing. They're still releasing episodes. I think it's at episode 27 right now. Now, Free Run is an anime uh, starring a an elf who is very long-lived. Uh, she's probably lived for thousands of years. She's a very skilled magician. And she was part of the party that destroyed the demon king that and saved the world. Of course, since then, uh, a lot of her adventure party, uh, most of, two of which were human and one of which was a dwarf, uh, have passed away. And she traveled with them about 10 years. Now, the anime is actually about how she travels through a lot of the areas that she visited before during that adventure. And kind of just reminiscing about the passage of time and like how those 10 years affected her and, and what, um, you know what her ultimate goal is she's traveling with a, a new party this time they have a slightly different goal which i'm not going to spoil right here um, but some light spoilers though i have i did just finish episodes 25 and 26 a fatal vulnerability and the height of magic and so these episodes are essentially dealing with uh the mages in the uh, mages exam they're trying to get like a, a certification for for mages uh, go figure you need your certification and so one of the challenges is to go inside this dungeon and everyone has to face their own replica or at least everyone has to face a replica of themselves inside the dungeon and of course they encounter free ren's own replica who turns out to be essentially the, the dungeon boss. It is the most difficult enemy to overcome. Uh, they finally decipher that the best way to do this is for Free Ren and Fern to actually go up against um, this particular uh, enemy. And they figure that that's the best choice simply because it won't ha the, the replica won't have as many targets. It will focus fire on them too. And they also detail uh, Free Ren's one vulnerability is that apparently while she's attacking or defending she stops sensing mana for about like a moment and it is this moment that they are choosing to exploit uh, there's also some other fights that are happening of course the rest of the mages are fighting other replicas you get some more character development um, and one of the proctors for the exam also has a replica in there even though the proctor themselves is not actually is choosing not to help you also learn a little bit of backstory with her uh some very compelling stuff and we do have the conclusion of this particular test so i would highly suggest you watch it uh i was surprised that they decided to add a little bit more uh, uh backstory to sensei who is the proctor uh and then they also talked a little bit more about uh, Free Ren and her relationship with her, uh, with her master's master, and their view in the world. So, no doubt that that's gonna figure into the story uh, a little later. Uh, of course, I've also been watching One Piece, and, and of course, uh, everybody has been watching One Piece for eons at this point. Uh, wh what have you? What have I been watching? Uh, I'm essentially, geez, it's still going. Okay, <clears throat> so I finished, I think, episode 568. I think I saw 567 and 568 recently. Essentially, this is the Fishman Island arc, and this is the first, like, full arc after the time skip. So, hooray, I actually made it to the time skip, but also uh, they go underwater, they go to this Fishman Island. And currently, the set of episodes that I'm watching, they're essentially doing the last part of the fight with uh, Horty, Jordy. I forget what his name is, Jordy? Horty, Jordy. 
Anyways, he's a fish man who hates humans because, of course, uh, humans uh, sometimes tend to do bad things. Um, so some pretty compelling fights. You do get to see some interesting new uh, battle techniques employed by Luffy and the other uh, the other members of the Straw Hat crew get to shine. Uh, I don't know that there's too much great revelations going on, on during this time, but we do get to find out that apparently the Noah, which is the giant ship um, that they've been fighting on, actually has a purpose. And uh, yeah, the, the Sea Kings actually give you a little bit of that. Also, Sea Kings. So uh, yeah, it's a inter very interesting set of episodes. It looks like I've got six more to finish this particular season. And then I need a break from One Piece because uh, I can go back to it at any time. The last thing that I've been watching is Dr. Stone. And people do enjoy Dr. Stone, don't they? Uh, I am watching season three right now. And the last episode that I saw was uh, episode six, Treasure Box. Uh, and essentially, they, in the current uh, set of episodes, they're trying to build a ship, and the ship is going to take them across the world in order to find the source of the petrification beam. The petrification beam that turned everyone to stone uh, thousands of years ago. Uh, of course, it's really neat that they actually get to build a ship. They talk a little bit more about uh, the building of the ship and some of its components. And I, I think that's what I really like about Dr. Stone. Kind of just like the idea that um, you get you like break down these components of this these very complex systems like, like a ship. And you talk about them as if they're simple things that you put together. Almost like Lego pieces. And I think that's really where Dr. Stone shines. Uh, uh, it's a little less about, for me at least, it's a little less about the characters. But the characters are cool. Uh, but it's a little more about process and detailing how this works. And it's not like I'm going to take these blueprints and, and make a, a ship or anything like that. It's, it's just like about uh, being able to break down things into simple com com uh, concepts and kind of just like edifying from that. And, and, and it's beautiful and I like the way that it's in it. And it, it is very educational. Um, so imagine that we've gone far... Uh, We've gone far ever since the days of uh, other edutainment like Mario teaches typing. Um, but yeah, it's good. Uh, the other thing that I do like about Dr. Stone is uh, there's a lot of posturing. I love my anime with posturing. I, I love it when people are just like, haha, I will show you what's what. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Stone that does that. The captain character does that a lot. Um, and, and yeah, and of course, because they've all got these massive egos behind them, it's like, you think that that is a problem, but it is not because I am here. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a lot of that going. The other thing that I, I like, of course, is they're building up the mystery of who might be on the other side of, the, of this strange, like, Morse code phone call. Um, and uh, yeah, the last episode was, was interesting because they set sail, and they actually set sail to, to find a very key... Uh, element uh, which might be our uh, Chekhov's gun here. We're, we're looking for the spaceship that survived the petrification thousands of years ago. So So it's cool. Uh, I highly recommend watching Dr. Stone. It's it's a, it's a lot of fun and it is very educational uh, It cultivates the mind the spirit and the soul and we must always cultivate the soul Okay but that's enough of that. Uh, let's go ahead and, um, you know, get started with our game here. Of course, we do have a question of the day. And maybe this is something that I talked about yesterday a little bit with some people that were online. But uh, I'm going to make it the official uh, question of the day, question of the night for today. What is your favorite pie? Of course, yesterday was pie day. It was pie day. And so uh, here's me asking you, hey, friendo. What exactly was uh, what is your favorite pie? Sorry, sorry about that. I was just checking out my uh, my social medias. Uh, what is your favorite pie? I'm going to say it again today. Uh, do not. I will not be worried for consequences. Uh, my favorite pie is pumpkin pie because uh, you know what? I love my fall spices. Even though we're in winter, even though we still need spring and summers to follow, give me all that pumpkin pie goodness. But yeah, let's, uh, with that, let's go ahead and uh, get on to our game, shall we? We are playing Monster Hunter World. And... 
Okay, I think that's working. And of course our friend Churro is choosing not to show up. Hey Churro. Oh wait, he's behind his bed. <sighs> Never mind. Uh, you'll see him eventually. Let me go ahead and change the stream info right now for a second. Uh, huh. Just in case anybody pops in and they're wondering, hey, I was here for the Just Chats. Okay. And I think we're good and I think that's fine. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and, and of course, where's my chat go? Okay. So I'm currently using uh, my Xbox controller. Turn it around like this. It's a nice neon yellow. Should have chosen a pink one, clearly. And let's start the game. I am Aelwolf, of course. <clears throat> Uh, we can just go into any random online session, or maybe I'll just create an online session. I feel like it's generally easier to create my own session simply because it'll, uh, it'll stop all of this nonsense that comes from, like, um, giving other people, uh, what do you call these? Control of the session. And just a second here, folks, my chat is not showing for some reason okay i think that should be fine okay much better <clears throat> so i am playing with the hunting horn of course and uh <clears throat> this is a fresh playthrough i've actually beaten monster hunter world before using my favorite two weapons, the Lance and the Gun Lance. The Hunting Horn is actually my third favorite weapon. Uh, the two Lances and the Hunting Horn actually happen to be the least popular weapons in the game uh, in terms of some poll. So uh, here's me here's me wishing myself some good luck. Uh, and welcome in, in I go, my goat. Uh, I'm glad that I am your goat. I am mostly nobody's goat. Apple pie without the apple pieces, lol. That's interesting. So, so is is it like a you want like a the apple slurry on the pie? Is, is that is that kind of the idea? I know that sometimes when people make apple pie, like the apple chunks can be a bit too much. <clears throat> yeah, no mistake. Something's definitely stirring. All right, let me have it. Let's hear what you've discovered. And of course, we completed some. Bounties, quicker, picker, upper. Let's manage, let's register some bounties. Yeah, exactly, too much. Yeah, I, I, I feel I feel what you mean. Uh, I, I know what you mean. Sometimes they can just be way too chunky. And of course, we've got an ad starting in about three minutes, so run while you still can. And let's put the mushroom there. Can we complete act any actual deliveries here? Yeah, I'm actually a pumpkin pie person myself. Love those uh, fall spices, as they say. Hope here's hoping that you're having an excellent day, though. Uh, in I go. It is. It is good to see you. Hey. Hello, hello. Would you mind telling this chief over there at the next station to do a little tidying up now and then? I prefer things to be neat and organized. Instead, I'm holding my breath, embracing for an early death by Book of Avalanche. Now, were you just here to chat? Maybe I was. Uh, let's get some summoner jelly. Beautiful. <clears throat> and I think we've already talked with the Argosi captain. <clears throat> when researchers retire or children are born, we watch the skies and see and wait for an opportunity to deliver them home safely. Sometimes that wait takes years. The urgent doesn't all, always cooperate. I, I, my voice cracked in the middle of that. That's why the commander's grandson ended up spending his childhood here. Well, take a good whiff before you go. This is the one place that still smells like home. God, man, would you... Your skin just looks like it's so uh, sun damaged and salty. Maybe wear a t-shirt every once in a while. 
Ah, <sighs> but who am I to propose skin care to? Okay, let's see. Some beautiful music in my mansion suite. Welcome home, Yester. Where's the safari? Still needs about three different uh, missions. So one of the things that I was doing before, um, during the last time that I played this, was trying to get the um, Diablos armor set. Uh, I've actually been playing off stream and been hunting, farming Diablos, and I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's been terrible. It's been a pain. Um, but yeah, I got enough pieces, and I think I made the armor, or I can make the armor. Drop by here whenever you get your hands on new materials. You might find I have a few new ideas to present to ya. So what are we hammering together this time? Uh, let me see, do I have all of it? There we go. So the last piece, the Diablos Bam Braces Alpha. To your health. And it looks like we've got an ad break in progress, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and equip what we have. Uh, change equipment. Hunter. <sighs> Why would I change? Oh, I see. I see what you mean. So, as you can imagine, the defense on my Bone Helm, even though it's at level 8, is still nothing compared to my Diablo's Helm Alpha, which is a 54. Uh, and the same is true of every other piece here. Very cool. So, I am decked out in pal uh, Palico, <laughs> Diablo's armor. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should uh, create equipment for my Palico. Can I forge equipment? Armor. Not here. Oh, forge Palico equipment. Standard equipment? Let's see how much I can make. Oof. It looks like I've got just enough to make everything. Let's see, hey Ailes, I need some advice for my friend. He's stuck in the middle between seeing this new girl he met, who flirted with him, and his loving girlfriend of seven months. Uh, uh, well, I, I guess my question... Uh, uh, well... <laughs> sorry, I, I had to rewire my brain for a second. Um, I would say that if this the his current situation is flourishing, then there is no reason for me to suggest that anybody should be thinking about any other person. Now, if for some reason uh, this is a troubled relationship uh, of seven months, then I might uh, see some wiggle room there. Okay, so Diablo's hammer. Oi! Bang it out. And one majestic horn. I love it that uh, when my palico actually has the same exact armor set that I do. <sighs> Delicious dihydrogen monoxide. Okay, and I think we are good. So our Palico is decked out in beautiful uh, Diablo's armor, and we just gotta remember to be frightened from water or ice. So the two elements that, of course, exist in 75 to 80% of the Earth. <clears throat> Now, let's see what uh, what new abilities I have with this equipment. Skill info. No. 
That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I've got Diablo's Mastery 4. Powers up non-elemental weapons that I may have equipped. Uh, which means that I should probably um, let go of the current hunting horn that I have because it's a gamma gamma horn uh, from our friend Dodo Gamma and equip like a neutral horn like the uh, bone horn that I had. Then I've got heroics. While active, increases attack power by 10% and increases defense by 100 points. I think, oh, when health drops lower than 35%. So that might be a bit risky. Let's see. I get you, which I told him, but... Tells me he loves his girlfriend. It's more than just X with her. But sometimes he feels he cosplays a lover boy. And he's been thinking of trying someone new, even though he has feelings for her. And now he does, and he's nervous. Uh, well, like I said, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm not going to uh, fault anybody for ha harboring feelings. I think it's a very natural thing for people to to simply. Uh, uh, ca catch somebody and they happen to catch their fancy and this happens even in very long-standing relationships of course um, so so my advice would simply be to weigh out whether or not risking what he currently has now is worthwhile pursuing something that might be uh, this is kind of an age-old question right do you do you risk what you have right now which is secure and safe for something that could or could not be better and unless he has a real understanding of that second question, I uh, personally uh, wouldn't necessarily make any new moves. Okay, tremor resistance. So this actually nullifies ground tremors, which is nice. Critical draw. And this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this particular armor set is because the critical draw. I, I find that I constantly draw my weapon, and so this will give me an extra critical edge whenever I draw my weapon. Slugger, of course, is good for any horn Drink, weapon. And I know things. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a uh, very apt. Uh, I I appreciate that you might be suggesting there that I'm onto something. Marathon runner. Uh, this helps us run away. And airborne, which increases our attack power by thirty percent. Uh, the thing, of course, that's missing here is the. Uh, horn uh, maestro scale which we do have already with our performance charm so it's nice so it's good and of course our health boosters there but like I said I need to change to a different hunting horn I wonder if I can actually make the Diablos hunting horn uh, let's see can I upgrade my hunting horn where is the Diablos tree Uh, Dragon Bone, Kirin, Palomo, Puke. It's gotta be a bone tree, right? This is what I have right now. Uh, Puke, Puke. Uh, question mark tree. Is there no Diablos horn? Am I. I gotta be missing something here. Vespoid tree, Rataban tree, Black Steel tree. No, I guess maybe there isn't. And you know what, even if I, I'm sure it'll, it'll become apparent the, mo the more I move forward with this. Then of course the bone tree is right here. <clears throat> oh, I see. I turned my regular horn into a, a gamma horn. That's what happened there. So what I really want, but the thing is, of course, if I go to her, oh, these are hidden elements. Interesting. So maybe what I can do is I can continue to work on the ore tree. That might be the way to go. Although I do like my bone horn. Can we sort for no elements? Uh, element, no element. 22 results. See, lots of these horns actually have no elements, which is nice. Kuluyaku, the Rathian tree. The ore tree, of course, has no elements. And I already have that. 
I don't think that I faced enough of... Uh... Ooh, black steel. Look at that, I still need a lot of... Uh... Coral crystal in order to do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll... I'm gonna try and make another bone tree. First of all, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade my hunting horn. Uh, my mineral hunting horn. Metal, uh, there we go, the Fortissimo, looks like I can, to 672, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Very nice, no, no need to equip it. And of course it doesn't have an element right now simply because uh, whatever element is hidden. And then I'm going to recreate my bone horn. Uh, horn. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing all over again. Yes. Ah, uh, it's back. It's back to me now. Uh, 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 and now let's just upgrade it. Blooming horn. Blooming onion. Where's my... Okay. And we're gonna go down the list. Look at that. It just keeps growing. Wanna see me turn into a Super Saiyan level 3? And one more level. Can it? Ooh, I can actually go to heavy bone horn one. So very nice. Now I've got like three different horns that are of the same level. Can I go to the? Ooh, look at that. I'm only missing one question. Question material in order to actually get that last one. So now I've got three uh, viable horns, except only two of them I should be using with the Diablo's armor. So let's change equipment for the hunter. Uh, and let's go by rarity so this fortissimo really the important thing about a hunting horn is uh how much how many songs it has uh we like the heavy bone horn because it does have attack up large and the impact echo wave is generally enough for us to get through most things the nice thing though about the metal tree is that it does have defense up and health boost large. So I don't know. Let's tr let's try with the heavy horn, heavy bone horn first. And I think that'll be that. Let's uh, equip some jewels. I think we can set some decorations. This one already has the fortitude jewel. We might have to put that one on this one. What's a good... Huh, the only level 2 jewel is a flight jewel. Actually, does any of the rest of my equipment... No, it looks like only... Only my horn has a decoration slot. And I could put a bunch of things. Attack would be good, but let's go with fortitude. <coughs> Just because I'm concerned, I have concerns that I might falter. With that, let's move on to our story. Hello, part. Pard? Part. <laughs> to this day, the Commission has been unable to conduct a proper study of Nergigante. Right. The glory and honor is going to be all ours. I am getting so excited for this quest. I wonder if I should have um, increased the defense on this armor set. Eh, we'll figure it out. Some good optional quests. Uh, maybe something that leads to test things out. Something that's actually going to give us something. Uh, a meow for help. 
Puke Puke Anjanev. Look at that. Rotten Veil. Disturbing the report, unusually powered Sitsi Yaku. Blinding flash attacks. Akulu Yaku. Uh, let's see if there's any fun level 7 ones. Oh, Black Diablos are scary. Oh, look at this. Tail, Talons of Ire and Ice. And this is in the Coral Highlands. Unlocks a botanical research slot. So this is actually quite good for me. I think we're going to do that. It's going to be difficult. But you know what? We thrive in the face of difficulty. More importantly though, let's eat. Uh, give me that meat. Or actually, chef's choice is fine. And of course, our favorite part of the game is uh, cooking some food. Very nice. Nutritious and delicious. And let's get some items before we go. And my goggles seem to be just a little bit finicky today. But you know what? That's okay. This is the uh, sacrifice that we make in order to provide quality streaming content. We wear very tight goggles. Um, why does the thing always drop me off where I don't want it to drop me off? Could you... This just happens more and more every day. Let, let me go. I don't want to fight you right now. Goodbye. Like AOL Messenger would say, goodbye. Okay, I don't wanna... Can I, like, lead battle? Okay, now can I fly away somewhere? Oh, where's the... Where's the camp? Why am I in combat? I'm not in combat! Uh, I'm gonna have to run all the way over there, aren't I? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Uh, let's run. Well, I'm standing essentially on a... Huh. I guess it figured out that... Visible. Just a second here, folks. I'm still trying to see my... Uh, what do you call this? I actually implemented uh, closed captioning on the stream and I don't think that it works properly. Let's see, what if I put large text uh, in my second window? Uh, well, if it pops out, it pops out. <sighs> Let's go get our stuff. Maybe I need to like research a, an FAQ to actually figure that one out. <clears throat> And let's craft some first aid meds. Love to have those first aid meds in handy. Because sometimes that's all you need to save a life. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Ooh, I want to go over there to the protectors. I feel like I'm going to... They're generally useful. Okay, so I need a Legiana and an Odogeron. We're already fighting the Legiana, so we might as well go after her. And I'm sorry to uh, gender. I, I don't know actually if it's a it's a male or a, or a female Legiana, um, but I, I, it just I don't know. It, 
I guess flying monsters just generally read to me as uh, female monsters for some reason, and I don't quite understand why. I I'm tr actively trying to stop doing that. The only guaranteed uh, female monsters are Black Diablos. And I guess, uh, what is it? What the... What, what do you think you're doing? I'm like a giant compared to you. Four. <laughs> you foolish child. Um, where does the trail lead? And of course, because we're in the middle of a fight, it won't actually show me where I need to go. Which is just a bit annoying. Just a bit, but not enough to make me quit. Too, too legitimate to quit a bit. Okay, another, another footprint. And it is up there, isn't it? Waiting for me. Of course, Legiana has a uh, ice elements, which of course means that I'm going to be at a slight disadvantage. Where, where am I going? Up or down? I need to go up. Where is... Where is the creator? Where is this leading? I, I'm so confused now. Maybe I should just go up. How about that? I'll just go up. <clears throat> and of course the trouble uh, with this particular approach is not that I won't eventually find it because I will find uh, leggy it's uh it's more about wasting quest time why are these fireflies not leading me anywhere could you I, I'm pretty sure I, I yeah what, what are you doing All of this kelp. I think uh, another challenge here is just the fact that Le Legian is kind of just moving about while I'm actually searching for it. So it's it's just a little bit difficult for me to... Ah, it's not here. It's not here. Uh, that, that seems like reason to have like uh, destroyed my legs. Where is it? I hear it. Where are you? Oh, there it is. I better play my song. The song of love. Ay, 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 ay. I'm not ready. Not ready. <clears throat> Go, go. Move out of the way. Ooh, ice. And that's really what I need to avoid during this fight. 
ice is the enemy of the Diablos. What's my attack up large? Oh, I see. <sighs> okay. We're getting close. What is what is happening? Why am I sleeping? There was a frog? Wonderful. Can I wake up faster, at least? Here we go. Beautiful. Boom. Well, I guess that particular curse happened to be um, a blessing in disguise. Let's go. And tenderize the meat. Come on, why am I iced over? This is crazy. What? How did it dodge? Okay, okay, evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. These guys are crazy! Jump! Jump, you fool! I, I swear, sometimes... It is so obvious what I want to do in terms of uh, in terms of just fleeing, but uh, the hunter just doesn't. Let's go! Oh, very well timed. Very well timed. Uh, not a nice thing. Uh, I'm going to say that was not a good round. Maybe I need to ready a flash pod. Did I even bring those? No, of course I didn't. Because I'm that, mu that smart. Where's the... Where are you guys leading me? Are you leading me anywhere? Or are you just like having a... Have a nice chill day? in that little flask. You guys have one job. One job. Gotta make sure that this song stays up. And ad is about to start. So, viewer beware. You're in for a scare. You, once again, it is leading me nowhere. Where am I going? Where is it? Okay, now it's down there. Good. Okay, a real fight. Where is it? Wow, collateral damage. Could you get back here? If I could just... Whew. Slam. Ah, oh, I got whipped.
it's coming. I can't believe I haven't gotten an attack up yet. Beautiful. Let's do this again. Now. Boom. Ah, I took a risk there. That wasn't necessary. Okay, let's go. Let's try to pull another one. Not the right place to be. What are you even doing? Oh, I guess it's focused on bacon right now. <clears throat> Go! Oh, come on. One more slam. Jeez, I keep missing. Now. Oh, missed again. Well, at least I got its heals. Let's go. Turf War? Who's fighting it? Wow. Uh, is this a good idea? Dunk Pod. Oh. Okay. Thanks, man. I think. Can you can you put the dunk pot on, please? Okay, dunged. Go go. Whew, okay. And it seems like I've got some materials. Not that I need them, but I am a greedy boy. Oh, come! I <clears throat> this Legiana has been so... Beyblade. Oh, wow. I couldn't even sing the song. Pop it. We are in not a good state right now. It's a little chilly for me. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. That's fine. I need to find a place to like heal up. Uh, where did it go? That way. So, of course, first things first. You know, I'm surprised uh, Devil Joe is here. Where's my... Uh, is it from behind me now? No, no, it's still down there. Let's play this song. And we still got regular attack up. Oh gosh, Devil Joe's there. That's why they're together. I, I swear, the, the challenge in high rank has become uh, Turf Wars. No! I just dunked the wrong monster. Again. This is... I, I was really hoping that I could... Um, is any of them dunked? No, Devil Joe seems dunked. Okay, this is... This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You... You're an insane man. Why a Devil Joe is in the Highlands is, uh... Why? Why is it still chasing? I'm... I'm higher. Oh, 
What an obnoxious little, I mean, big bully. <laughs> Uh, what a, what a nuisance. What a nuisance. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and sharpen up. Sharpen up, sharpen up. And where is this leading me to? I should probably eat a ration. Gotta keep that uh, stamina up. You know the, the best part about all this, as in not the best part, it's just the fact that that uh, Devil Joe is probably gonna chase me as I also fight that Odo Garon. Would you just come down here? Oh, to have a ranged weapon. Go, go, go. One more. I got hit. Bonk. Beautiful. Oh, wow. It actually did that uh, on its own. It wasn't my effect. Where did it go? Wow, this, uh... This leggy just keeps running away. <clears throat> Are you just gonna keep running away? Ooh, look. It's actually got the skull signs on it. Which means that I'm gonna trap it. And honestly, the only reason why I'm thinking about trapping it and not just simply destroying it is because of my time limit here. Um, time is a commodity in these uh, two monster quests. Where do I go? Where do I go? <sighs> you're not telling... You're not giving me proper direction. Okay, up there. Of course it's close to the Devil Joe, because Devil Joe. <clears throat> yeah, so let's, uh, let's trap this thing. We are roughly at the halfway point in terms of uh, <clears throat> the quest timer, so we're Already on the verge of cutting it close. <sighs> okay, let's keep rising. We rise to the challenge. Uh, and if only it wasn't the case that I had to go all of this way in order to actually get the thing that's probably sleeping. Uh, and welcome in, Chrissy. Um, how are you doing this fine day? My favorite pie is apple pie. Hope you're having a good day today, Ailes. Thank you for sharing, uh, Chrissy. Now, generally when I, when I think about apple pie, uh, I think of two different ones, like standard apple pie with, you know, like a pie cover, and then there's the apple crumble, which uh, has that little crumbly thing on the top. Where's my trank bombs? Beautiful, okay. And actually, this is a good time to uh, give our friend Chrissy Cat a shout out. And of course, because I'm a fool. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, let's see, I like the standard apple pie best. If we're talking cobbler, I like blackberry best. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you once again for sharing your, your thoughts on apple pie. I, I haven't had like a good standard apple pie in a long time. Now, as I was saying, um, everyone watching out there, kindly give a Chrissy Cat a follow. She's an amazing streamer, uh, a very uh, 
kind friend of the Ails and Fails uh, stream uh, family, and uh, she likes to do JRPGs as well as rhythm games. Uh, I don't know, uh, I don't believe I recall what's last I saw you streaming, but feel free to let us know if, if you're comfortable. Um, yeah, yeah, of course, absolutely, uh, you're most welcome. Let's go ahead and fly, let's fly. Fly, me, the fool. Uh, Otto Garon is our next target, uh, and I have no idea where it is, but I'm gonna go to camp. I'm gonna go to camp. Uh -huh, huh I took an unintentional break, trying to get back to it soon. Hey, that's good. I I'm hoping that you're getting refreshed. Uh, it's, uh, I certainly don't recommend, uh, uh burning out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, here's hoping that, uh, you find, uh, the desire to do so again. And let's go with loadout one. Oh, imagine that. I never used my demon drug or armor, armor skin. Would you look at that? Okay, let's get out of here. It's been since the dehydrate. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem, Chrissy. And of course, if we dehydrate, we have to drink the opposite of water. Uh, to your health. It's been since last Tuesday, so I guess actually not uh, not too long, not too long. <clears throat> uh, and thank you once again for the redeem. Today we are drinking a German Helles, which is a light golden beer, um, light golden pale beer. Uh, you know, I was just telling uh, chat that my favorite pie actually happens to be oh well now it's been negated um everyone please stay hydrated out there very important to always drink your water uh drink responsibly and uh yes uh once again to your health more so um yeah so pumpkin pie actually happens to be my favorite and um and that is just because I love the uh, fall spices. Can't uh, cannot do without the fall spices. Uh, I have no idea where the Garon might be, but I'm gonna say it's in low ground. And as much as I love to not have to climb all these mountain tops and whatnot, uh, I can bet you anything that Devil Joe is going to follow me to the ends of the earth. I'm not finding... I don't want a Titiyaku, I want an Odo Garon. Please. Ooh, I got it. I got one. I got some. We're on the trail. The game is afoot. Stop chasing me. Oh, there he is. Boom. I should have played the fun song before I started fighting. What am I doing? Turf War. Maybe I can play my song right now. Ooh. Why did I get flashed? <laughs> Could you just play the song, please? Well, how did I... A oh, lovely... That pickle needs to find a hobby that doesn't involve you. That's that's what I'm saying. Beautiful. All of those encores on one single target. <clears throat> we don't like the pickle around here, and yet somehow he's here again. Oh wow, what is he doing? <laughs> don't throw it at me. Goodbye. Like AO Messenger would say, goodbye. Uh oh no. What is, what is even happening here? Can we even... This is no good. This is a three-way fight. Why can't you guys just be friends? He's having a snack. You know, it would be fine if that was my target. But, uh... Why are they still chasing me with that? Why does he have that thing there? Ah. Okay. This is sadistic... This is a family-friendly stream. What are you even doing? Okay, can we... 
I've got a dunk pod, so I should be able to... That's no good. Okay, it got dunked. Go. Gotta move. I really don't want to get the bleeding status. It's so difficult in this game to actually get rid of it. And of course, I've got defense down. Let's find a better place to fight, shall we? Man Pickle is not letting that dude go. No, it's not. It's pretty obsessed with it, actually. And this pupper's going wild as well. Okay, let's approach defensively. Might be a little too fast for my horn here. So we're just gonna have to wail on it. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Let's soften it up. Kaboom! And let's Beyblade. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. I love that move. That's so good. Nice. I think we did some good damage right there. Whoa. <laughs> Was that what I planned? Oh no, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Somebody apply pressure on the wound. Go! That's no good. I've got heroics on, which means that I'm under 30%. Very timely with the all according to plan Chrissy every time. Is he gone? He is running. But of course his friend Titsuyaku just showed up. Because why not? Whew, okay. So let's continue this beautifully crafted plan. You know, it's it's funny because um, I was just chasing uh, Legiana in the same exact quest uh, 15 minutes ago. And uh, Pickle Joe was there. And now that I'm chasing Odogeron here in the lowlands, he's also here. So it's like this quest is specifically made so that um, you have trouble with him this, the entire time. Surprise TT. Sur <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, you would think that he would have at least a few traumatic life scars following that. <clears throat> uh. He might need a little bit of therapy after that. He's not happy. Where are you? Beautiful. So he's still softened. And now... Ah, oh, great. He negated my attack up. Boom. Ah, oh, great. Negated again. And that is always going to be... Nice. Once again, Encore. Oh, almost reached him. I'm bleeding again. I am bleeding. Let's get a bigger wasp before we die. Wow. I am not okay. <laughs> I naturally put up my shield up, but I forgot uh, the hunting horn has no shield. Got him. Let's do this. Oh, he put... Let's get back on this pony. I'm not getting off this bus. I paid my ticket. Wow. 
one, two, three, and home run. And Beyblade. What are you doing? I got confused. Beautiful. Okay, he's limping. Let's trap him. <sighs> and bonk indeed. Now the question is, do I trap him? Or do I destroy him? Now of course the pride might be getting the best of me here. <clears throat> I, I just I just get a kick out of seeing both myself and my Palico friend wearing the same exact armor set. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, indeed, a very proud laughter. Let's uh, let's trap him. Uh, no, actually, let's bomb him. Let's bomb him. You know what? Because because we're crazy cats like that. Let's do this, Bobby. Do they choose this violence? You are seeing me at my worst, Chrissy. Boom. Couldn't have done it without you, though. Thank you very much. Ah, that was a nightmarish quest. And uh, not that the monsters involved themselves were particularly difficult, but it's just the amalgamation, the, the union, the marriage of everyone at the same time that poses the bigger challenge here. Ooh, a plate. I drink and I know things. Thank you, thank you for the reading. I do, I do indeed uh, know things when I drink. That's actually the second time they, that uh, particular alert's been played today. Imagine that people sometimes think that I say things that might uh, be just a little bit smart. Sometimes. Very rarely. Sometimes this happens. <sighs> Let's get out of here and find some shade. So this wasn't a, a story-based quest, but I think it'll open up one more slot in, in, the, in the farm, which will be nice because I think I'll have three, three of them in total. Ah, some flame nuts. Specimen jewel. The jewel of friendship. My heart goes out to the friendship skill. I should really make a set that uh, has a friendship skill. Uh, research level is up. Okay. Botanical Research Center has been upgraded. Very cool. That's exactly what I needed. And Palico's at level 17. So we are good. We are thriving, folks. It's almost time. So we finally know we're nerd. <clears throat> wow. Ugh. Uh, here's to uh, checking off the bingo's card of Ailes has to turn off his mic to start coughing. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. I should probably drink more water. As usual, this is a drinks friendly stream, but no matter what, please stay hydrated while you're drinking or doing anything else in life for real. Thank you very much, Chrissy. So, we finally know where Nergigante has skulked off to. That monster scares me, I won't lie. There's something secret and unknowable about it that shakes me to the core. Alright, my hardy hunters, let's see those results. Oh, look at that, two quests in the Coral Highlands. <clears throat> and can I complete any deliveries? Anything from DoorDash, perhaps? No, not today. Not today, my friend. 
let's do an elders research and a large monster i'm gonna go take a little rest if i'm not back have a great rest of the stream uh, of course thank you very much for hanging out today uh chrissy uh have a a very uh have a good rest uh enjoy yourself and yes if i don't catch you have an awesome rest of your day and if not a great rest of your weekend <clears throat> uh, all right what, what, what am i doing here chief botanist oh look at that beautiful tree we do love trees here Thank you. Look how much the ancient tree has grown. I knew a sack of the stuff would produce quick results. What, you'd like to know if I've been doing my part while you were away? And you don't understand why the tree has grown so suddenly. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could tell you. It's the soil. I collected soil from Rotten Vale. We've already talked about how each elder crossing coincides with a sudden burst of growth in the New World's vegetation, yes? The reason the elder dragons go to the Rotten Vale is to die there. So I decided to try collecting soil samples and see if they'd have an effect on the tree. So um, technically it's destroyed the facility. The commander is not going to be happy about this. Imagine that it's an overgrown tree I guess. I don't think he's over the whole almost blowing up Estera mishap from me last time. Oh well, he'll just have to deal. The good news now is that the ancient tree has grown. We can handle more requests than ever. <laughs> I hope you take advantage of it. Consider it a way to help me further my research. Now, were you just here to chat? Ah, oh, look at that. We have one more slot. We are good. We're good. What should we put there? Maybe a Might Seed. So many things. Of course, Might Seed and Adamant Seeds are going to be key as I try to make more uh, armor drugs, armor skin, and demon drugs. But maybe for the next round. For this round, I want... What do I want? I think I've got enough null berries. <clears throat> uh, maybe flash pots? That might be something good. Yeah, maybe... No, I've got enough flash pots. Never mind. Bait bugs. I'll never need bait bugs I should probably put an insect there simply because I've got the fertilizer for insects uh, maybe the god bug would be a good idea thunder bugs also help me with the fl uh, traps spider webs uh, very sticky web used to craft pitfall traps I don't know that I have a lot of uh, let's go with god bug okay so let's fertilize and growth up we don't need that beautiful okay so we've got a lot of stuff in the farm let's go check out the tail raiders good session thus far i think it's been good Uh, no, you don't need to show me. So they're at three. Let's keep going. Okay, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I need to keep hydrating. And, um, just a second, folks. Like I said, I'm trying to get my captions to work, but for some reason, they're not... They're not appearing. Additional profanity translate. Hide captions by default. Uh, automatically turn off captions when I go offline. And captions banned. Okay. So it looks like that should be fine. Okay. So here's hoping that they start now, maybe. Let me see what happens if I... 
That's interesting. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, once again, it doesn't really seem to be showing. I don't know what I need to do here. OBS, send captions directly to OBS. So they are on... I'll have to figure this out later. <clears throat> okay. So... Let's go up and let's pick up the next quest. And an ad is incoming in less than a minute. Can I actually upgrade my uh, charm? It was the first fleet that requested a second consist of three engineers to every two hunters. They asked for the best and brightest, engineers that were ready to think outside the box. This was long ago, of course. So what are we hammering together this time? Uh, defense charm. Oh, actually, that's the, that's the highest level for the performer's charm. For now, anyways. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, maybe let's go ahead and upgrade our armor set. That's not enough. Not nearly enough. Ooh, look at that. So max defense of 60. Let's go everyone to the max. Very cool. Not too bad. Actually, these are pretty strong. Very cool. So now all of our armor sets are at the highest strength level. <clears throat> To this day, the Commission has been unable to conduct a proper study of Nergigante. Right. The glory and honor is going to be all ours. I am getting so excited for this quest. So let's pose a new quest. Uh, let's see if there's <clears throat> anything optional that's still cool. It just doesn't let up, folks. Time limit. Eggs. We don't like eggs. Trouble troopers. Oh, actually, this one might be good. It might help me the uh, get the get the next palico weapon. So let's go with this one. Actually, <clears throat> should be easy enough to to uh, do. <laughs> should be easy enough to do. Uh, and I think this will get me that uh, musical weapon for my palico. Uh, let's go with this. Good. Okay. And let's get some items. Since this is a low rank quest, I'm going to say that it'll probably be easy enough. Oh, look at that. I don't even have armor skins anymore. 
Let's just go. <clears throat> Imagine that I was actually dropped off at the right place to this, this time. And one of the uh, Linians is actually coming with me, which is nice, which is nice, I'll admit. It's nice that you guys are coming along with me for the first time ever. For the first time in forever. Where's that song from? So some Sitsuyaku tracks. This is of course low rank, so like I said, it here's hoping that it's not too challenging of a fight. And there's our target. Nice. Get over here, you. Let's go. Let's ride this, baby. Wow, he just really wants to shake me. <laughs> As if it's not to be expected, of course. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a... Beautiful. Boom. He is now in not a good shape. Beautiful. Oh yeah, he is limping. Limp away, my friend. <sighs> Let's chase after that thing. So the one threat that this particular quest might have challenged me with really is uh, to have placed both of them at the same time with me. That would have been very annoying. I think that's the second one. Let's try not to... Oh, they're going for the... <laughs> Speak of the devil! Gotta play the song before I face him, no matter what. All right, let's chase up. Let's pick it up, pick it up. And we're moving, we're moving. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and trap this one. Do I not? Oh yes, I do have a shock trap. Beautiful. Uh, we can probably try and um, beat the next one. <clears throat> today we do not choose violence. Only today. Only right now. For this very brief second. Okay, let's go this away. Let's move on out.
and of course I'm being chased by random creatures which is making my uh, fireflies go wild fireflies gone wild volume 3 This guy decided to go into the highlands. This guy. Ooh, look at that. And... Bonk. Nice. One more. Ooh. I just got tackle and tail whipped. Go, 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 go. One more time. Like Daft Punk once said. Beautiful. And let's Beyblade this guy. Impact wave. Ah, uh, that didn't reach him. Come on. Ah, oh, what a waste of an impact wave. Sometimes it's difficult to actually aim that thing, which is unfortunate. And let's soften it up for the road. Boom. I got no elevation there. Uh, it was so nice to face low rank monsters. Get back here, you crazy kid. We've got unfinished business. Oh, he's already got the skull sign on that. Well, as it is expected. Now that is all according to Keikaku. There he is. Let me just make sure that I've got my song up. Let's go. This way, Fox. Where did he go? <clears throat> I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, of course, it flashy thing me. Got him. Let's ride this one out. Come on. Come to Papa. Oof. And Beyblade. I didn't even get to do the impact echo waves. Beautiful quest. But once again, <laughs> low rank. Ah, uh, well. Gotta take a victory where they come, you know? What are you doing here? Might as well just get some Shamos meat while we're here. <clears throat> and I know that these guys actually help us after a while. So uh, I'm trying to change your mind on that eventuality. What are you looking at? Oh, that's terrible, Ailes. You gotta love your animals. 
and we've got a lot of pieces of course but really uh, we're not farming for uh, monster pieces here we what we really want is the help of the linians in this particular area so our unity has increased Okay. Nya, nya, nya. Warriors of the Research Commission, I salute your brave and generous hearts. I accept this gadget with my thanks. This instrument plays only for the strong of heart. Its melodies will aid you. Wow, that sounds me outstanding. Thanks. Any who have fought by my side are friends. When you require my aid, I will lend it gladly. I shall see you again, brave and generous warriors of the Research Commission. So now we've got the Choral Orchestra, which is kind of like a nice um, alternative to the Vigor Wasp, I think. It essentially is another hunting horn that you uh, <clears throat> that you have with you. Okay, let's return from the expedition. That was nice. That was um, certainly worth the time. Of course, there was also no time at all. No time at all. Okay. And maybe now, let, let's check one more time in case there's any other quest that we could pick up uh, that might help us significantly in our uh, road forward. And of course, I almost spilled everything because I have way too many things on my desk. That was a close one. Yeah, no mistake, something's definitely stirring. And my camera's a little bit off. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, let me have it. Let's hear what you've discovered. Can I complete anything? No. Everything is still the same. Harvest, harvest. With fertilizer, I can improve our harvest. Now, were you just here to chat? Maybe I was. So we don't need any more catalyst. Uh, let's put some more uh, jelly. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like the Argosi is back yet. Let's check out our room. Let's check out the pad. Oh, bacon. You know those troopers were we made friends with in the Coral Hi Highlands, Meowster? They taught me how to speak to Shamos. Never thought I'd be chatting with any of those. So the next Shamos we see, I'll try to sweet talk them into joining the Tail Raiders. I can't wait to hop on their back and ride them like the troopers do. That's really cool. Uh, so now we've got friends in three maps. Oh, it looks like two more quests are left. Okay, let's keep going. And let's go on up. All my love too long ago. All right. Okay, let's see if there's any more optional quests that might be of use to us. <clears throat> new canteen, new canteen. What is this? tools to help your hunts. I don't know, this might be like a new mantle or something like that. Which I haven't really been using. Uh, this is more tools. <clears throat> I'm really miss the. Please go out and find me a new one. What does this grant you? 
uh, I think I'm gonna skip that. A new canteen. Any of these. New canteen. And then the last one. What does this do? I think it's more tools. Okay. Well, I think we're good. I think we can just go on with the uh, assigned quests. Let's go on to the next one. A wound and a thirst. So we're going up against Nargigante. Looks like it's a one-on-one. -on -one. 1v1. Whew, okay. Let me see if I can crap. Well, let's go ahead and eat first. Attack up. I don't think I need elemental resist. Okay, so this might be actually one of the final quests here, uh, for the high rank anyways. Uh, let's craft some stuff before we go. Nutrients. And then Mega Nutrients. We can use to make max potions, which are actually quite useful down the line. Let's make 50 of them, how about that? That's got to be an annoying sound, <laughs> but we're going to have to keep doing it. Uh, Mega nutrients, of course. We don't want to waste all of our honey reserves, so. Mandragora. Okay, so 10 mega potions. Can make some catalysts here, but against it's draining our honey reserves. <clears throat> so it might not be the best idea. Uh, gotta use that honey for something though. Got life powders. Only got one demon drug. No armor skins. Yeah, we definitely need to put uh, both might seeds and uh, uh, what do you call these? adamant seeds in the farm. <clears throat> okay. So let's get going. And actually, maybe I'll go ahead and take uh, one of those max. Let's go. Ah, it's been such a long time since I've challenged Nergigante. Yeah, imagine that. On time too. I like that. Ah, if it isn't my friend Mufasa. Finally, the time has come. Ecological research sent the messenger. I've been waiting for you. Now you'd better be careful. Nergigante tried to eat Zora Magdros and failed. No, he didn't. Come on. It tried to take on other Elder Dragons and failed there too, so now it's hungry and most likely a little bit irate too. Anyway, you don't need warnings from me, not after all you've been through. So what do you say? Are you ready to do this? Of course you're ready. Time to move. Interesting. The plot thickens. So let's drink our drugs. <clears throat> just to have that extra level of support here. Fortunately, Nergigante is a non-elemental, so I'm not too worried about that. 
Uh, let's craft some first aid mints. What if I eat my max potion? Uh, let's wait until I actually need it, I guess. I bet it's just gonna pop up. Let's get some minerals in case we just utterly fail here. And there it is. What the? The shakalaka. I forget what these things are called. Wait, who is that? Okay, there he is. <clears throat> I should have really activated my uh, song before this. Oh, really? I gotta get this activated before I actually challenge this thing. Go, go, go. Oof. Nice. Good opener. It's not gonna last. <clears throat> Good timing. Gotta get that attack up large going. One of the things that Nerd Gigante loves to do is just... Um... Scratch its uh, horns against the dirt. Where did it go? Nice. Oh, come on. That's a lot of damage. Feel a cough coming. Wow. Go, go, go. And I need a I need a drink. And let's do this. Oh, of course it did that. Whew. Wow, totally whiffed on that one. Why do I feel so slow? Interesting. Okay, where are you? <laughs> I was smashing its foot. Ala Dixie Kong. Lovely. Okay, now. Okay, we've activated the large. Now we don't have to worry too much about activating songs. Though it is nice. Okay, this is no good. Heroics is activated. I am no hero. <sighs> wow. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I got scraped off. Oof. Fortunately, there's a bigger wasp station already. Okay. That wasn't too bad of a first round, but it wasn't also not a great one. Let's roll. I'm gonna play... Make sure that it's propped up. And we've got a Nant starting in about 30 seconds. Okay, let's keep going. What is he even doing? I just want to break those big old horns. Go, go, go. Oof. Wow. Smashed me. Got him? Maybe? Go, go. Oh, wow. That is crazy. I got hit by that one. Let's go. Got him. Oh, why did I... How did that even happen? Get over here, you... Beyblade. Oh, wow. Jeez. Evasive maneuvers here. Ad break has ended. Nice. Got him. Okay, here we go. I wanted to climb him. Move! That's the second time I waste a potential opening. Go, go. Move out of the way. Ah. <sighs> Probably not a good time to drink. Oof. Wow, that was a close one. Move, move. I can't see a thing. That is crazy. How did that even happen? Let's go. Let's get out of this small hole. Get over here, you beast. Is it not focus on me? Oh, it's... Ah, that was a pointless waste of time. Why am I climbing this? Well, this is a better area to fight anyways. Where is he? And of course it's going. Wow. 
That was not a great round. Let's go. Trying to pick up those footprints just in case. And play the song. Let's go. <clears throat> wow. Whoa. Well, how did I get hit? I'm pretty sure I rolled away. Uh, game's cheating. <laughs> game's cheating. <laughs> Let's drop one of these down. How about that? Stick around. Stick around! Go, go! I, I gotta hit this blasted guy's head. Now! Beyblade! Nice. I actually went through the damage. That is wild. And come this way where it's nice and warm. Oof. Beautiful. Yes! Let's go. Come on down. I'm gonna take you for a ride. No, 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 no! Now! One, two, th three, and home run! Looks like I knocked him out. And... Oh great, of course he would negate my impact wave. Out of the way. Ah, oh, come on. Go, go, go! Why? I'm gonna die. Why are you doing that? I just want you to keep running. Okay, good. Where are my, where is he? It's like he damages me without even noticing that that's happening. My stamina is just not recovering for some reason. Do I have any attack up? No, I don't. Wow. I exploded. Go! How did I get hit after that? Activate the thing! <sighs> what a absurd fight. Ninety degrees. I'm frozen in stone. <sighs> okay. Oh, that was not a good round. Okay. Let's keep it up. Health booster can be activated again. Good. And actually, that round lasted long enough for me to... Um, Oh, let me get that crystal burst actually. It lasted long enough for me to lose the effects of my main song, which doesn't happen very often. Today's to come.
and drink up. Honestly, this guy... Just from all the rolling away that I have to do, he's massacring my uh, stamina. Smash his head. I can't believe his horns have survived this entire time, by the way. That's just the regalness of an Elder Dragon. Go! Go! Got him. Here we go. Nice and soft. Boom. One horn broken. Go! Why am I... Move, move, move out of the way! Out of the way! Oh, gosh. Get up! Get! One for the road. For my next trick. Boom, 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 boom. Bob and weave. Where is he? He doesn't like that. Ah, that was a good slam. Move. Beautiful. Where did he go? I just gotta get the song up. One more. Oh, wow. Pointless, pointless, pointless. Move. Ah, gotta get to that plant. Sheesh! <laughs> you knew what you were doing, you... Nice. I like that it keeps telling me that Heroics has been activated. I honestly don't need it to... Don't want it to activate. What is happening? Why did that hurt me? No potions, no potions. He is tired, but I am more tired. I got him beat in that department. Oof. Slam them. Ah, he is mad. Nice. Oof. That is some roar. Nobody does it like Nurki. Beautiful. Oh wow, missed my chance. Both horns are broken. Is that gonna change a thing? Probably not. We probably need to go back to camp and uh, get some stuff. It's not going to make sense. If we keep chasing him with no potions at all. <clears throat> what is your urgent news? Uh, 
Oh, okay. No, what are you... <laughs> Is Was this really the right time to talk about this? <laughs> uh, manage items. Sure. And let's get that cold water just in case. I doubt I'll need it, but you never know. Okay, I can't imagine that at the very least we're not on the second half of this fight. We have been going some fairly good rounds here. Gotta make sure that I activate my uh, primary song before I reach him. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to activate too many songs during this fight. It's It's been very touch and go. Maybe that speaks more to my ability as a hunter though, or a hunting horn player. There he is. Yeah, at the at the very least, I guess I can say that I I did break both of his horns. <sighs> One does not simply break Nergigante's horns. There he is. Beautiful. Oof. Jeez. Slam. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get some aerial. <clears throat> oh, wow, that costed me. <clears throat> and I feel a cough coming. Come, friend. Not the right call. Why is heroics activated again? Go. I really don't want to face him with anything less than 50%. Just because the next hit could be the last. that tail as well. How did that reach me? Got him. Wait, what? Move, move, move! Ah, oh boy. Save me, save me. Is a monster. Let's go. Why does everyone love to negate my songs? It's so. It's like, oh, you. This is. You like set the whole thing up the entire time. And they just. No, it's like, oh, no, you press the R button, which means that we're gonna roar. Okay, let's go. He's not. Oh, I don't think Elder Dragons really fall asleep, so I would. I doubt that was gonna happen. Oh, huh. I have no health. Very smart. He's gotta be the smartest hunter in the world. No, it didn't activate, of course. Got him. Well, at least one version of attack up got activated. And so he slams the floor. Okay, he's limping. Which is good for us. 
Um, but that just means that he's at his most dangerous right now. Eat some of those rations. Eat up, buddy. Maybe if I can uh, get him into a shock trap, I might not be able to trap him, but I should be able to get a few good hits. It's not pretty, but it's better than just freakishly attempting to wail on him. And maybe he's sleeping? Yeah, it looks like he is. Nobody make a sound. And soften it up, shall we? Move, move, move. Wait. What? Beautiful. Boom. Wow, he made it rain. Just like Okada. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to get like hits in so that I can actually beat this thing. As in, I, I'm not like trying to tr go for any like fancy strategy. I, I just want to get hits in so he goes down eventually. Wow, that was, that was lame. I admit that was lame. I wanted to get some aerials. Go, go! <sighs> put it away, put it away! What is happening here? Mm. Every hit gets punished. Every every hit. Ah, this is maddening. I really just need to finish this fight. This is ridiculous. Let's, let's get that trap. Otherwise, we're not gonna get a good chance here. What, is he just totally unaffected? Is that... I must have forgotten that key detail. I just thought they were untrappable. I didn't remember that they wouldn't even, like, react to the trap. Oh, we're playing... In Ring around the rosy here, I guess. Wow. That dodging. <sighs> it's a hard life out there, folks. Pathetic. Pathetic. The, the thing is, uh, I would probably be a little less... Uh, frustrated with my performance if we were actually having good rounds and yeah like I take a I take a fall like that would make sense but the thing is these are just um, rounds where I'm essentially just skirting by um, the creature is kind of just like um, wailing on me every single time I get one hit in 
So it's not, it's not, there's no elegance in that, you know? And if there's something we must have, it's elegance. Oh, actually, I forgot to eat. <clears throat> I guess I might be slightly better off than the first time around since I did have, <clears throat> I do have the effects of Fortify. <sighs> Let's just go for attack up large. May this be the final round. Uh, and we're overdue for a break here. Let's try to end this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just... Uh, I don't know, even if, even if we somehow manage to beat this quest, I am dissatisfied. Footprints. Where is he? You know what would be nice if he fell asleep again and then I could get another bomb run. But I don't think, uh, I don't think that'll be the case. <clears throat> and let's play the song. Boom, ba boom. There, there is a possibility, though. You never know. <laughs> he's, he's asleep again. You crazy puppy. Here you go. How is he still alive? Move. Jeez. Why did <clears throat> just random stuff fell on me? Go out of the move out of the way. Move out of the way. I'm I'm trapped. Oh my trap is still there. Look at that. How? What? Planted. Beautiful. And let's soften this up again. Boom. Oh, wow. Come on. How much more of this can... And? Whew. What? A tough fight. Jeez. Oh my gosh, that was rough. <clears throat> Should have saved that last zip of hellies for, for this, but it'll have to be next time. Next, Nergigante. Okay, and I think, I think this is where we take our break. We definitely need to go. Churro needs to Go to the potty. I need to take a quick bio break. Uh, but let me wait until the counter disappears from the screen. Otherwise, it's going to make me do 
suboptimal things. What a weird place. Just a bunch of like bone crystals essentially. <clears throat> and stream just went into unstable mode. Hey. Hey. Well look who's still with us. Oh imagine that. So we have elder dragons eating other elder dragons. Wonderful. That clears some things up. Yeah. We weren't looking at the big picture. Until we came to the new world, how could we know? How would we? Nergi Gante came here looking for a feast. <laughs> and he made a real mess of the local ecosystem in the process. You know this brawny guy could have helped us this entire time. Now that the problem child's been put to bed, the other elder dragon should revert to their usual behavior. <laughs> you did good. Well, thanks, Dad. So Ready to go? What's wrong? No, there's a piece of the puzzle missing. And what might that be? How did this area end up becoming such a hotbed of energy in the first place? Enough energy to lure in a menace like that and convince it to switch habitats doesn't just naturally happen. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, or we could just like say mission accomplished and we can all go home, right? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just my my theory. Ooh, those don't look very pleasant. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Uh, some hot dog plants. <clears throat> okay, so a couple more jewels, tiptoe jewel and more flight jewels. Ooh, full proficiency achieved. Very nice. You can upgrade your armor even further. Very cool. Now we have the right for eight star assignment quest. With the brutal Nur Gigante slain, the hunter's investigation into the eater of Elder Dragons was complete. But it seemed the Elder Suisus still had a deeper All mystery. Right, Let's get council underway. Uh, well, you know what? We're going to have to wait for council until uh, after the break. So we will be back in six, seven minutes or so. Stay tuned.
back to the Ales and Fails stream. I'm your host, Alewolf, otherwise known as Ales, gentleman streamer, the no throne scissorone, and of course, Mama Ales, baby boy. And welcome back to the corner of the stream that we know as the modern speakeasy where we play modern games. We're currently playing Monster Hunter World and having a relatively rough time, unfortunately. Uh, we are playing Hunting Horn, which no, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a weak weapon, I, I would never say that, I love my hunting horn, but it is definitely, uh, uh, it's definitely got some growth spurts to go in the, in the damage department, and, and certainly, um, I kind of just wish that I, I, I was a slightly better master of this musical instrument. Before we go back into the action though, we just defeated Nogi Dante by the way, so that, that's one point. Let's go ahead and talk about what's on tap next. And our final drink for this day is Full Boar Scotch Ale. This is by our friends at Devil's Canyon Brewing in San Carlos, California. One of our favorite local craft breweries. And so Full Boar Scotch Ale, what, what is exactly is a Scotch Ale you might be asking? Is it an ale made with scotch? Is that the idea? Did you just pour some spirits on your beer and call it a day and, and that's the that, that thing is gonna fly around here like fly no a scotch ale is a it's a of course an ale that originated in scotland and it is it is largely a brown ale uh a brown ale or amber ale uh, you know some there's some uh, some slight differences here but a scotch ale is an ale made with the combination of pale malts, which makes your pale ales, golden ales, and your crystal and chocolate malts, which makes your porters and stouts. And so you, you marry these two together to make, generally you can make amber ales, you can make some brown ales using this combination, but for scotch ales, you're specifically uh, getting malts that add this uh, particular level of like a caramel notes to it. And so you add certain sugars there that, that give it that character. Uh, one of the defining characteristics of both Scotch and Scottish ales is the fact that they have like this peat-like flavor to them. And so it's kind of like this earthy type of taste. It's not really smoky, it's more like earthy, like like a uh, fertile soil almost. If you've ever like gone to a farm, you picked up like fertile soil with an earthworm, you're just like, hmm, Scotch ale, yeah, that, that's, that's what that is. Uh, 
And yeah, there's some caramel, some toffee notes there. They're quite, quite delectable. I really love my scotch ales. Now, uh, before you ask, and I know you that you were about to ask, the difference between scotch and Scottish ales is actually quite, quite small. Uh, scotch ale is essentially an imperial version of a Scottish ale, and so while a Scottish ale might exist, be, be, uh, might exist underneath the six percent alcohol by volume, Scotch ales, otherwise known as wee heavy ales, exist six and above. <clears throat> So Scotch Ales are delicious, they're definitely uh, one of my favorite beer styles that are not stouts. Uh, and yeah, you know, I recommend that you go seek out one of them. But those are my thoughts on that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and actually see what Untapped has to say on the matter. <laughs> Four Boar Scotch Ale made by Devil's Canyon. And again, Devil's Canyon is actually one of my favorite breweries uh, that I like to visit. They don't open too often for visitors, but when they do, I, I like to be there. They've got a nice... Uh, a nice set of uh, rotating uh, food trucks that uh, certainly strike my fancy. 7.4% alcohol by volume. Full bore scotch ale is mildly smoky blend of peated malts, rich flavors of caramel, overtones of chocolate, and a slight hint of coffee. Crisp malts together with hops give the bore its aroma and complement the characteristic of this scotch style ale. So there you have it, folks. Um, <laughs> There you got your notes of uh, peat there, some coffee, some caramel, some chocolate, all, all of these fun things all together. Let's go ahead and taste this and make up our minds. And of course I left my glass all the way over here because I'm a smart boy, that's who I am. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's been a while since I've had a scotch, scotch ale, specifically full bore. Actually, last time I had a full bore, I, I was in the brewery itself, and that's when I was at the Can Beer Festival uh, back in February. So maybe not too long, but long enough for our purposes. And here you have it. It's like this copperish red over here. It's translucent. It's not opaque. It's a blend of pale malts and darker malts. In terms of a nose, you can definitely t uh, smell some sweet chocolate on it, some earthiness as well, and definitely some some caramel, rich caramel notes as well. Fanganel beer. Fanganel First thing that hits you is sweet, uh, uh, sweet caramel notes, a little bit of toffee, almost like a sweet coffee. Uh, yeah. Very little in terms of a hop character, I want to say. Some slight herbalness, but it's actually quite faint. It almost adds to the, it almost complements that soilish peat-like character to it. I want to say the coffee is mostly existent on the nose rather than on the flavor itself. There's a slight uh, finish in terms of a, a souring finish at the end, but nothing particularly that I would write home about. It's actually quite compact. It like picks itself up after it goes through. Yeah, very malty. Uh, definitely a three out of five in terms of body composition. This is delicious. I, I love my full bore. It's certainly a hefty beer. <clears throat> it's certainly something that I uh, it is one of the few beers that I will have to finish out at night as opposed to a just a conventional style. Let's go ahead and give this a rating. Uh, I'm feeling a 3.5 today. And beautiful. Cheers, we got it. So that's, uh, that's full bore. With that, let's go back to our game, shall we? So we're in the middle of a discussion here. As you all know, when Nergigante descended into the Elder's resource, it's turned into a veritable hornet's nest. I mean, that's one way to interpret that situation, yes. Being that Nergigante feeds on Elder Dragons, you can imagine that every monster in the recess got spooked. Uh, I'm sure everyone got spooked except for Devil Joe. Okay. 
now are coming across elder dragon tracks left and right. In the forest, among the wild spire, even in the rotten vale. So more elder dragons for me to uh sorry, for more elder dragons to uh destroy me. Our team has managed to attribute the tracks to three distinct elder dragons so far. Emphasis on so far. Many Wonderful. You know the consequences of their cataclysmic power. <laughs> cataclysmic. And you know what dangerous adversaries they make. Yeah, they're they're rough. They're rough guys. But no matter the danger, we have to seize upon this opportunity. We'd be fools not to. What are what opportunity are we seizing exactly? Yeah, yeah. Alright. First things first. I want our field team to start gathering evidence. We need to track down these beasts and pinpoint their exact locations. So I've decided to split you into three groups. Is one of the groups just me by myself facing the three dragons? Field team leader. <coughs> up the ancient forest investigation. Okay. And the wildspire waste, that one's yours. As for the rotten veil, we'll be needing the third fleet's help. Oh, come on. Why do we get the worst plays? I'll leave it up to these delegates to decide how to use the field team. Lastly, don't forget to relay your findings to the ecological research team. Once you've gathered enough evidence, everyone clear? All right. I, I'm not that Dismissed. clear. Do I have to do everything? <laughs> hey. Now you're talking. Well, this keeps just get keeps getting more interesting. I'd like nothing more than to help you out, but I've got somewhere I need to be. An old friend told me that he's trying to track down a place brimming with energy. There's been a surge in the veins of the earth. He's planning to go and investigate alone. Can't have that. Well, there it is. Now, don't go blabbing about this to anyone else. My old friend would never forgive me if I let this feline out of the bag. Mm. The veins of the earth are like blood vessels that pump energy underground. They reach all the way across the new world. The Everstream, too, is a part of that system. That's uh, that's essentially the live stream. So we're actually playing an offshoot of FF7, by the way. I suspect the reason the Elder Dragons are still stirring despite Nergigante's disappearance is somehow related to this. Of course, I can't be sure, but I have a gut feeling. Call it Admiral's Instinct. See ya. Anyway, good luck with things on your end. I'll let you know what we find out. Hey, welcome in, Rio. How are you doing this fine afternoon? Thank you, thank you very much for popping in. Here's hoping that you're having an awesome day. Oh shoot, almost forgot. My old friend also had a message for you too. I'll be waiting in the place beyond. Where all things converge. Well, his words, not mine. What a what an ominous message. And actually, uh, before I forget, let's uh, let's go give our friend Rio Zero Nine a shout out. Now, everyone watching out there, except you stinky bots, kindly give uh, Rio a follow. He's an excellent streamer. He just finished Zeldrary Month where he played a bunch of uh, Legend of Zelda games uh, and where he destroyed Ganon. And I think the last thing you were playing was Super Mario RPG, which is one of my favorite games. So if you want to see some cool Super Mario RPG gameplay, some fun chats, uh, tune into Ryo's stream. Let's see, investigate the Awoken Elder Dragons. <sighs> Once you collected enough research points, Okay, great. Yeah, of course, of course. If the elder dragons aren't showing any signs of settling down, then we'll have to look into it. We're on the hunt. Now, uh, <clears throat> like I said, here's hoping that you're having an awesome day. Uh, hopefully, you had an excellent pie day. Enjoyed some pie, perhaps made use of the quadratic formula our little operation here the beast would need very little effort to completely wipe us out i jest we'll be fine right all right my hardy hunters let's see those results okay so some more armor spheres for us eh nothing particularly good or useful here How's my, uh, how's the farm going? Huh? Elder Ag 
Dragons? What elder dragons? Oh my, right, those elder dragons. The commanders mentioned them during council. I didn't forget. How could I? Now, we're just here to chat. This guy is just rude. Just rude. Okay, let's fertilize some more. Don't need that. Could use this. Beautiful. Elder Melder, what have you got to tell us? Oh, hey there, Hunter. A moment, if you don't mind, dear. The other day, after a grueling bout of intense research, I figured out how to meld even more new decorations. Just say the word and I'll show you what I've learned. So what can I melt for you? Uh, let's see what's good. I don't know that this is a lot of... Well, at least now you can do dragon jewels. Which is good. Dragon attack and dragon defense jewels. Let's see, what's over here at the round table? <clears throat> Excitable A-lister, I remember you. Hey. Oh, what a pain in the astalos. The chef asked me to make this delivery, but... What? You'll do it for me, really? Wow, that's really rattalos, or I mean, very kind of you. It's a request to get some fatty tomatoes. Get some and the chi and the chef will add them to the ingredients list. So we needed some fatty tomato, great. Because you know we're hunting elder dragons, but we can um we can just uh get some fatty tomatoes on the side. That that's fine. That's good. Darn you fatty tomatoes. Mm, one more quest. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder how much I can increase the power of my armor. Don't hoard your materials, use them to create equipment that'll serve you better. So what are we hamming together this time? Actually, let's see if we can uh, make even newer armors. Uh, Orion, Dragon King. Is that like Shaman King? Well, I guess now we can make Nergigante equipment, which is cool. Uh, this is Rarity 8. I don't have a single rarity 7, unfortunately. What is this? Uh, Doberhelm. Basil Gee stuff, huh? <clears throat> Damascus. That might seem like a pretty cool set to make. Defense boost, speed sharpening, focus, handicraft, iron skin. Not bad. So maybe we don't need a uh, new armor right now. Armor right now. But maybe we can upgrade it. Oh, I'm close. I'm close. I am so close. I can almost taste it. Fortissimo. Oh, that one is close too. Um, yeah, never mind. Let's keep going. Anybody else have something to give me? The canteen. Our next location, the canteen. I've never seen this guy. Fiber bro. Hey, you been working hard? What's that? You heard me mumbling? Yeah, the chef asked me to rustle up some ingredients for him. But I've still got so much eating to do. Whoa, you serious? You'll go and get them for me? Ooh, thanks, you're a lifesaver. We fibers gotta look out for each other, eh? Well, here are the details. Good luck. Oh, it looks like I can already turn this one in. So actually, let me go downstairs and turn it in just in case it'll... 
increase the power of my uh, canteen ingredients. <clears throat> And as always, uh, disclaimer, stay hydrated, folks. We enjoy our drinks, but we enjoy our water that much more. Mm. Hello, Fiverr. You, don't, you know, I don't know how to feel about all these other dragons. On the one hand, they cause all this mess. Frankly, I have a headache thinking about how much they interfere with my operations. But on the other hand, the resources they cough up. Oh, la, la. That is another story. Okay, tell me about what you found. Uh, and it seems like a thousand year old crab. Let's do this. Beautiful. So we have one more, uh, one more canteen ingredient. <laughs> Moving on up. <clears throat> Oh, I guess I was supposed to speak to the field team, field team leader now that I'm looking at my quest list. As well as the huntsman. It's time. Right. Time to head to the wild spire waste. We've got an elder dragon to track. From what I can gather, the trail is more prominent on rock and sand. The proper course would be to conduct an expedition or quest into primarily dry areas. Once we have gathered the data we need, we shall report to the scholars at the Ecological Research. All right. Until next time, Hunter. Okay. We have enough data on the wildfire waste now. Let's go report to Ecological Research. Uh, do we? Yo. Hello, friend. There you are. We split up the hunters in the fourth and fourth. Uh, in the fourth and fifth to make the search for the Elder Dragon's Trail go faster. I'd like you to join us in the ancient forest and look there. Gather any evidence you can find. You can do it while you're out on expedition or during a quest. It doesn't matter either way. Based on the info we've been able to sort through, it sounds as though the evidence will be spread over a wide area. When you've collected enough data, report it to the ecological research center. Good luck out there. <clears throat> okay. Chief Ecologist. Where is that guy? Oh, come on. There he is. Still in one piece, then. Ah, there you are. Good news. We've managed to work out what Elder Dragon has appeared in the Wildspire Waste and where you can find it. Its name is Teostra, and it's as violent as they come. They call it the Emperor of Flame and the Peerless One. In the old world, it makes its home in deserts and volcanic regions. I didn't expect to encounter one here. We have to study it. If I let this chance slip away, I'll never forgive myself. I told the huntsman where Teostra can be found. Talk to him if you'd like to know more. I, I just came from talking to him. Can I just get the mission? <laughs> mission. Okay. Speak to the huntsman again. You guys, you, you could just like stand next to each other and talk. What? Teostra, ha <laughs> ha. So this is the elder dragon that's been strutting about the waste. My old friend, my old enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Emperor of Flame that left these gashes in my armor. And now we will face each other again. Any hunter worth his salt should be grateful for a chance to test his skill against such an opponent. Are you with me? Sign up for the quest and we shall pursue Teostra to the Elder's Recess. A Teostra? Going after it will definitely put all of your skills to the test. I think you'll be okay with a full bell. Is that, is that enough? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Oh, my summertime. What, what, a sweet summer child, you. Huh. I figured you'd help an old man with his troubles. The canteen storehouse is looking mighty bare, and an empty storehouse means empty stomachs. <clears throat> Our good chef is looking glummer than an astronaut in the middle of the ocean, and me hands are full at the moment. That's why I need a fella to help me out. I'll set up a delivery request for ya. 
Do me the honors. Okay. That's enough of that. I'm tired of talking to people. Let's let's go bunk some monsters. How about that? Okay, so speak to the third fleet master uh, again. Okay. Uh, wait, that's not... Oh, that's the field team leader. Commander. Where is the third fleet master? Uh, quest board. Hmm. Are they not in an obvious place? Oh, wait a second. I remember the third fleet master. Of course. The beautiful third fleet master. Who has run away with my heart. Nope. Oh, what are you doing here? Well, look who it is. What are you doing all the way out here? Wait, let me guess. You're tracking an old dragon, right? Actually, that's been on my mind too. The veils of Fluvium has been th getting thicker recently. I only just noticed myself during one of my veil investigations. Now that I, think about it. I remember the same thing happened before, when the Third Fleet first arrived, during the Elder's Crossing 20 years ago. Two decades of walking and finding nothing, but then something important changed. You came along. You found the other dragon's trail and followed it. And soon, you may even set foot in places that even I have never been. <laughs> right then, I'm going to try and track down what's causing the increase in effluvium. You go search the veil and see if you can pick up the elder dragon's trail. Sounds like a plan, but I didn't come here to talk to you. Hmm. There you are. I've been looking for you. Off to the rotten veil to look for an elder dragon, are you? The Admiral was just here and told me all about it. Oh, yes. Well, allow me to fill you in. The effluvium in the veil has been getting denser. That woman over there is the one who discovered it while she was out investigating. Thankfully, she alerted me to the anomaly at once. We've observed this phenomenon once before, back when the Third Fleet and I first arrived. We determined that a monster must be lurking at the center of the effluvium. So chances are, the other dragon you are seeking is the one lurking in the effluvium. Let's not waste any time. You'll find the evidence at the bottom of the veil. Well. Once you've collected enough, report it to the ecological research team. Alright? Good. Alright. So, Rotten Veil. We could either... I guess let's, uh... Let's, let's do this in order and, and go to the, uh, go to the ancient forest. Workshop, trade yard. What's the difference between trade yard and workshop? I feel like they're the same place. Second here, folks, trying to look at one of my signs over here. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> so I feel like we could go to the ancient forest and search for tracks. It seems like we're not limited to like actually doing quests. We can actually just do anything and it should get us where we need to be. So maybe let's pick up a quest that is uh, is at the ancient forest. <laughs> maybe scores a couple of victories here. Hello, hello. Hey, Teostra, that's one vicious elder dragon. It has well-developed fangs and powerful limbs. Not to mention it, its temper. It's particularly unforgiving towards enemies. 
The only reason you don't hear about it smashing apart as many talented villages as the elder dragons is because it inhabits volcanic areas where people aren't likely to build towns in the first place. I wonder how Teostra behaves here in the new world. We need to find out. Okay, so my only assigned quest right now is Teostra. Let's see if I have got any um, <clears throat> quests in the ancient forest here. Yeah, there's there's the Rathalos. There's the rematch, but you know what? I want to get something e slightly easier here. Let's go get this uh, Toby Kodachi. <laughs> and let's look for tracks while we're at it. Let's look for the point of least resistance, shall we? And let's eat up. <clears throat> uh, we definitely need elemental resistance. Let's look for that. Delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Okay. And let's get some stuff from our bag. Yeah, unfortunately... Yeah, I don't have any more honey left. I need to get some more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We probably can't craft our first aid mints. Well, one of them we can. Let's look for some honey, I guess. I'm surprised after all this time I'm running so low on honey. But I guess I do craft a lot of things that use it. So maybe it's not that surprising. What we're looking for is a Toby. And where's my demon drug? No matter how easy this might be, let's make it even. Let's make it an even fight. Yeah! And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's, let's see if we can find some tail raiders with us. Actually, I could probably just call them, right? Wait. Let's go. <clears throat> Ooh, there's some honey right there. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get some honey, dude. Some honey bunches of oats. Oh, I keep getting off for no reason. Okay, I think we're doing okay. Some Toby prints. There's a Rathalos or a Rathian right there. <clears throat> Looks like they're fighting. Let me go ahead and turn up the heat with my song. And let me go ahead and craft the rest of those. Uh, I don't have enough materials. I thought I picked up honey. What? Whatever. 
Whatever. Putting up the dung pot so that I can actually... Got him. Got her, that is. Oh, would you... Ooh, nice. Where did he go? I'm surprised I didn't get roared out of that animation. <sighs> Why? Why? We're not... I didn't even hit you. I didn't even... Ooh, more honey. Look. Ooh, wow. Don't tell me that Rathalos is still chasing, by the way, because that would be awful. Thank you. Song's already out of whack. Get over here, you crazy cat. He doesn't even care. Attack up. Okay, hit him once. Got the attack up. Let's go. We're gonna take you for a ride. Come, ta pa pa. Let's do this. One and a two and a one, two, three. You crazy kid. Get back here. Didn't like that. <clears throat> oh, what is this? It's a bony pile. Okay, not bad. Let's try to let's try to get the rest of those other palicos. Ooh, dragon bone relic. Those are really useful. Where are these guys? Try and increase my friendship with these. Wait, what? <sighs> and once again, the ever so obnoxiousness of the ancient forest. Can I climb somewhere, please? Okay, where are these cats? Yes, can one of you guys come with us? Please. <clears throat> Good. Cheers to the one that we lost along the way. Okay. Let's keep going. Please don't tell me it's with a wrath unit again. Of course it is. It's just hanging out.
It's gone. Good. At least got a, I've got a bod bodyguard with me. You know, Kevin Costner. Wow, come on, get up. Get up, Rock. Get out of the salt. Move. Move. Why do you leap when all you have to do is run? Where's that bug? Okay. Got him. Not on the head, though. Which is what we really want. Beautiful. Here we go. Bonk. Nice. Attack up large. Get over here, you. <clears throat> why do I feel so... Oh, I'm like, why do I feel so slow? And it's actually because of... Because my... Uh, primary song is down. Not worth it. Wow. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, okay. And it's gone. It's gone. That's good. <sighs> if only I had activated my song before facing this guy. We'd be in a much better state. Do I have a null berry? Okay, good. I was like, why was I moving like a turtle? Okay, let's go. Let's rock it. Here's hoping that we still have that attack up. By the time we get there. And let's craft some... They are really skimping on the honey today. Let me guess, are they fighting again? Guys, this doesn't have to be the case every time. Okay, he's gone. Ah, oh, the game has just uh, randomly decided to aggravate me with Turf Wars. Turf Wars! Transformers! Okay, finally. I'm chasing this guy down the entire time. Come on, would you stop running? Could you just hang out for a minute? Oh, wonderful. That was, that was nice, right? That was nice. Got it. Oh, wait. That's what I was looking for. You know it. Could you just come closer so I can continue to bash you aerially? There we go. Let's go back. 
Ooh, nice. Impact wave. Nice. Ooh, got it. Even though it roared. Goodbye. Lost track of what monster? Boom. Bacon riding tail raider. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Why do you? <laughs> I swear. It's kind of ridiculous how when the hunter chooses to do the Superman dive. And now, attack up. Oh, wow. At least I got one level up. Oh, seriously, another Devil Joe. Thank you. Wait, what's happening? Oh, dear. Did I lose connection? I have no idea if I'm streaming anymore. It looks like my stream lapse has stopped. Or it seems like it stopped. Not too sure. It seems like I'm still going... What are you doing, dude? Great, graphic card tissues. Our tail raider headed home. God, just just leave, leave. I don't know what's happening with uh the stream, but I bet it's not healthy. <clears throat> Let's keep going here. What? Okay, we we have to bolt. We have to bolt. I can't find the exit here. Just just go. Just go. Just go. <sighs> okay. Give me a second here, folks. I, I need to figure out if this thing is still running. It says excellent. It says excellent on my end. Uh, somebody let me know if it's excellent. <laughs> somebody, somebody let me know if it's excellent. How about that? Uh, just a second. Uh, is it still going? It looks like it's going. What about my output over here? Okay, I think... Yeah, it looks like it's still functional. Let's keep going. It just looks like Streamlabs has stopped, but apparently it's still running in the background somehow. So we're going to leave it exactly as is, not touch it. And... Now it's doing more weird things. I have no idea what it's doing. Ad starts in three minutes, though. Let's go get that thing. Where is he? I swear, if only I had um, less quests where Devil Joe interrupted and broke Streamlabs, I would be a happy camper. It would be nice.
boom yeah so the stream seems to still be going but I don't know what's happened to, to Streamlabs over here oh wait no it's back it seems like it's back never mind that's surprising that's the first time that I ever click on Streamlabs again and it starts working Stranger things have happened though. Let's get everything. Let's take it all. Anti blast jewels. Because wearing jewels will protect us from explosions. Tail Raider's unity is higher. With the protectors as well as the monsters. Very cool. And maybe we'll do one more quest over here. The safari has returned. Let's try and be quick over here. Yes, yes. I know that you're oblivious to the rest of the situation. All you care about is fertilis. Let's go ahead and collect everything, actually. I need these honeys. And let's cultivate new stuff. Honey for the first spot. And I think my teeth for the second. Adam and teeth for the third. Catalyst is a safe bet, but we've got that already. Fertilizer. Mega fertilizer. Beautiful. So let's go. Is the Agosi back? Doesn't seem like it. Sometimes an elder dragon can cripple an entire nation. Or even destroy it. That's how big a threat these monsters actually pose. A literal operation here. The beast would need very little effort to completely wipe us out. Haha, <laughs> I'll just. We'll be fine. Alright, hardy hunters. Let's see those results. And actually, while we're doing that... Can I not? Oh, an ad is, is taking place. Imagine that. <clears throat> Wait, I thought that I could complete a delivery, but maybe I was mistaken. Okay, I forgive you. I am the better man. Okay, Tail Raiders are back. Tail Raiders are back, everyone. Take everything. Let's see where we can send them next. Ooh, these guys are beautiful. Elder's Recess. We could get some more Pink Rathian. We could get some Dodos. You're dispatched. Okay, ad break has ended. You guys are back. My community, which consists largely of uh, finely tuned bots ready to advertise uh, graphics, uh, are back. Let's see, what's the next uh, ancient forest quest that we can take? Hello, partner. Uh, post a new quest. So, ooh, there we go. A cool yaku. Haha, <laughs> yaku might. We've done a city yaku already. Let's do cool yaku. This one should be simple enough, anyways. And let's eat, of course. Chef's choice. Let's just go with attack up.
Okay. And I think we are good. Let's go get that uh, cool Yaku. Wait a second. Was is this quest actually in the ancient forest? Maybe that's something that I probably should have checked out. No, it's in the wild spire waste. That's not gonna help us. I'm just like, wait a second. Cool Yakus don't. Ah, uh, what a. That would have been nice, though. That would have been nice. Elder's Recess, Special Arena. It's gotta be the. Uh, Rathian. <clears throat> and let's get some um, flash bombs. Let's craft some stuff. We've got some demon drugs and armor skins, so we don't actually need to gra craft anything. Craft mac and cheese. Why don't I have enough bombs? The one thing that you could give me. Gunpowder. Okay, that's enough for right now. Let's make some bombs. Okay, nice. And let's get some of those flashy bombs. Let's go. Oh wait, I actually also want some herbal medicines. Just in case I get poisoned. Why did it drop me off here? I don't want to be here. I just want to stop. Stop that. Stop that. I don't care. Just drop me off at a camp. Painful. Uh, these birds have one job, folks. One job. And they often screw up. And let's drink our drugs. <clears throat> drink our drugs. Okay, and let's track that Rathian. Can we call on the Tail Raider ride? Not right now. Let's go. That's a bit dangerous. If you ask me. Ooh, what is... That seems shiny. Is that a... No, that's not a track. Okay, fine. Can we call the raider now? Take us where we need to be. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Some more of these tracks. That's the whole point. And there's a Toby. Please don't be close to our target. Can you just move? Can you go? Go. Just go. Lots of Toby Kadachi tracks on along the way. 
Oh, and actually I forgot. Let me craft some uh, first aid, aid med pluses. Where is that thing? Ooh. That's a big one. Where are we going now? You better be following what we need to follow, buddy. <clears throat> I'm uh, trying not to hold my controller too close to the microphone, otherwise it's just going to hear a lot of click-click-clack. Again, Toby. Okay. Let me make sure that I've got my song playing. Okay, let's go. Why is Toby here, dude? Of course they're gonna... Okay, good. They didn't fly. Don't, don't, don't. Come on. You, it was right there. It was right there. footprints I swear this game is made so much harder by having a needless amount of like conflict between different monsters where am I going okay it looks like we are in the right direction. Except the fireflies, once again, are doing their worst to leave me. Where's the, where's the raider ride? Just, just, just take me to the thing. Just, just, just take me to the thing. so much better for this to have been a Kuyaku. We're already over time. Come on, fight! Let's try a somersault. Why? Was I just randomly legged? Go, go, go! Absolutely ridiculous. Already having a, a wonderful... <clears throat> of course. <clears throat> what took you so long? Have to find my dung pond.
Move. Every single fight in high rank has to have two monsters. What a mess. Another one. I can't see. Go. I'm surprised I wasn't poisoned. Tail and another one. Let's soften this up. Could you guys move out of the way, please? Thank you. I can't see a thing. This is just no place to fight. Why did I put away my weapon? I could have perfectly hit him right there. Okay, that wasn't a bad round, but it was pretty close to being a bad round. So, uh, let's go chase after this thing. Ooh, what is this? Gotta up that bone pile research. And we need to move, we need to move. We are going into overtime over here. Where did that blasted thing go? Of course my butterflies are not responding. <sighs> Monster Hunter World. I am rudely reminded of the limitations of this game. Are you my ride? No, you're not my ride. Something is unhappy with me. Okay, okay, get off. Okay, now we're good. Wow, completely missed the guy. <clears throat> why? Just, just why? Move, move. Thank you. There's too much poison on the floor. Okay, at least I've got my attack ops. Why are you here? Go. I thought he was gonna breathe fire on the... <clears throat> on the wolf. Move, move. 
I can't. Ugh, got him. This is a mess of geometry all right here. That was a close one. Tail Raider, why have you bes beseeched me? Move. Move. Let's go. Where's your head, dude? And smash! Wow, they, he keeps digging his head on the floor. Okay, nice. Nice and soft. But of course, that's just the limitations of uh, the ancient forest over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, what a miss. Let's do this. Oh, of course, they negate me as soon as I'm about to set up for my concert. Let's go. Beautiful. Look at that. Ah, got him. Got her, that is. <sighs> that was a nice round. That was good. <clears throat> Let's sharpen up. And here's hoping that all we need to do at this point is uh, capture her. Uh, I think we got a couple of tracks in this run. I think we did, yeah. So here's hoping... Uh, Angeneth! Okay, where did she go? I don't... The fireflies are not being helpful again. Let's go. Let's go, Jaggy. Picked up some poop on the way. Why are you here? It's probably back in its nest. Some more tracks for our troubles. Oh, and I see some blue. Wait. Sorry, as soon as I saw the blue, I needed I knew that I needed to dismount. <clears throat> that is the reason why we're here in the first place, so. Wait, wait, wait. Did I get it? <clears throat> Did you get it? Not yet, sir. Where's my ride? That doesn't matter. One more. Found some elder dragon evidence. We're making good progress. Good, not great. Okay, so we're almost there. Ooh, look at all this. <clears throat> nice. But let's go ahead and finish this off with a... Never mind.
move, move. Move. I didn't even recharge my primary song here. Whew. Go, go. Why, why, go? Okay, good. We've got our songs up. We gotta move. Huh. Nice. And slam! Go! Move, 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 move! Ay, ay, ay. Where are you? Boom. Ah, that was a rough one. <clears throat> okay. Not too bad, I want to say. Not too bad. I think, uh, in terms of an ancient forest hunt, could have gone a lot worse. Uh, okay. Uh, I feel like there was more tracks. No, it just seems like it was, um, <clears throat> Just another piece of Rathian that was hanging out. <sighs> okay, I think... I think this is, a, this is a wrap, as they say. Probably should have picked off that bone pile, but you know what, that's okay. And take everything. Appraise the magic of the jewels. Tail Raider unity has increased, which means that our friends, the Tail Raiders, are a little more likely to join us next time. But uh, but I think that's it. I think that's it for us today. <clears throat> and let me turn off the sound here. So I think that's playing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And uh, that was that is it for the ALS and Fails stream today. Thank you very much, folks, for everyone that uh, decided to share a little bit of your time with me today. I apologize for uh, the slightly more than frustrating gameplay today. It's those turf wars, I, I tell you. Those turf wars are going to be the end of me, unfortunately. Um, but I, I think we made some good progress here. I think we're, we're very close to defeating the rest of the other dragons and uh, very close to finishing high rank. I think, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm probably going to finish this game up until high rank and uh, and maybe we're going to take a break from Monster Hunter World at that point, I think. I think after that we're probably going to simply, uh, you know, relax for a bit, maybe play some Baller's Gate, which I've been itching to play for quite some time now. Um, if you like this kind of nonsense, <clears throat> I stream on Thursdays and Fridays at around this time. On Thursdays I generally play retro games and my game, the game that I'm playing on those days mostly is Castlevania Symphony of the Night, first playthrough. And then on Fridays I'm doing Monster Hunter World, but of course every once in a while I switch it up. So if neither of those games really are, are your thing, then uh, there's choices, there's uh, there's things that you can do. And sorry if my attention is just a little bit divided here, I'm trying to find out who my next uh, Ray the Victim is, and I think I've got a good idea of who I'm thinking of raiding. Let's go raid our friend Hispanic at the disco who is currently playing 
uh, Final Fantasy VII. Hey, JD274, thank you, thank you very much for uh, coming into the stream. Uh, let me snooze my ads while we're going. Let's go ahead and raid Hispanic and the Disco. Here's hoping that you're having an amazing end of the week thus far. Uh, where's my raid button? Raid channel. And let's go with Hispanic at the Disco. So let's give him a hello. And uh, until next time, as they say, as I like to end these things, and let me, let me make sure that my buttons are where they need to be. Uh, stay thirsty, Alpac. We'll see you again. <laughs>